It is a typical spring day in the early 1700s. Here lives the Davis family. They all put in hard work every single day. Today, we focus on Martha, the hardworking family wife who focuses on her family's needs. Then we have Henry, the hardworking husband who spends his days in the fields farming to feed his family. And here, one of their eight children, Giddy. The typical morning starts as soon as the sun rises. Henry takes advantage of every minute of sunlight during the day to complete his work. The tools he used were especially important. After plowing his field, Henry uses what is called a harrow, a big wooden frame with iron teeth. This was dragged along the soil to make it finer for smaller seeds to grow. Once the sun and rain have done their work, it is time to harvest the crops. Depending on the crop, he could harvest by hand or with a certain tool. To harvest crops like corn, he could use a large crescent-shaped sickle that was sharp enough to easily cut the crops to harvest. This was not an easy job. Every morning, Martha sets a table of food. This morning is porridge. Breakfast was quick because everybody had to get back to work. In the field, Henry tills the field in the spring. He can do this work by hand or use the help of one of his horses. Horses were expensive, but one of the best ways to work in the field and one of the best sources of transportation. On Sunday mornings, every family was required to go to church. So the Davis family makes their way to church on this morning. Once the Davis family is back from church, everybody goes right back to work. Henry goes back to the field, Martha sews her clothes, and the kids help their parents around the house. The boys help their fathers in the field and learn to farm and take care of animals. The girls help their mothers in the house. They could learn to sew and even help to cook. When it came to learning, young boys like Gideon can go to a form of public school or learn to read and write and farm from their fathers. Here, Henry is teaching Gideon to read. Unlike boys, girls rarely received any form of education. Girls are taught to help their mothers around their house and learn how to run a household. A house in colonial America was simple, but small for everyone living in a single house. Houses typically had one or two bedrooms and other needed rooms. Houses usually have dirt floors. By the season of fall, the temperature got colder and the family collects and farms as much food as they can for winter. Work is the same, but much more goes into planning ahead for the cold winter months. This is the day in the life of a typical colonial farming family. Life was simple, but always busy and always having something more to do. This is some really nice porridge, Mom. <laughs> I don't know how long it's supposed to go for, so... Okay. Looks like he's gathering air. <laughs> <laughs> nice short.